Hey guys, welcome to Game Back. We're another video today for our weapon conversion series, and today we're going to cover the M4 Assault Mod Block 2 variant. And I'm going to show you how to make this from a couple of the blueprints. There's a couple of ways we can do this with a few of the different blueprints in game. So I'm going to show you how to make this one. I'm replicating this mainly for some real life examples, as well as one of the ones that I've been using recently in Escape from Tarkov. So let's go ahead and jump right in it, show you how to build this. We'll check out the recoil control on the weapon, the different attachments that you can use, utilize for this build to make it unique for your own usage, and then we'll see how it handles in game against bots. Go ahead and get right into it. So here is our final design. This is the salt mod block two that I'm utilizing right now. Like I said, there's a couple different ways to do this. So let's back out and I'm going to strip this weapon to base and the blueprint I'm using for this right now is going to be the poly type blueprint. So if I go to my blueprints for the M4 here, you see the polytope. And the reason we're using this is because we get that MOE stock as well as the the tan MOE stock, the tan pistol grip, we can utilize the tan magazine. And I'm trying to go for a tan and black mix here. So there's a, we can also do this with a base M4. You can see that has a tan with a salt mod stock, but we're gonna utilize the polytope mainly and I'll show you some other builds that I have ready to go. So we'll select the polytope. And again, you can build this from the base M4. The attachments are gonna be the same for the most part. So here's our polytope. I'm gonna strip it down to the base M4. You can see here that the base stock on the polytope Blueprint replaces the salt mod stock with the MOE stock, which is the same one you get here at the Force Tech CQS for the fourth installment, except it's a tan version here, and we don't get the same stats as that one. We just get the same stats as the base salt mod or the base stock that we have on the M4, but this is a cosmetic change unique to this blueprint. So we're going to start with the tactical suppressor. This is going to assist with the sound suppression, the cons being aim down sight speed, as well as aim walking steadiness. Next up, I'm actually going to replace the barrel. You can leave the standard barrel on this if you wanted to. Both would qualify as a salt mod, but for my personal preference, I'm going to utilize the 14 and a half inch barrel. This is going to assist with the aim down sight speed, the con being the bullet velocity. So we'll go ahead and select that. You can see we don't have the rail cover on the weapon anymore. The rail cover, if I deselect it, you have that tan rail cover that just doesn't really fit the blueprint itself or even on the base M4 when we get to that we'll see so we're going to go ahead and do the 14 and a half inch tack light so like that now for the laser we're going to want the tack laser this is going to assist with the aim down sight speed aiming stability and the aim walking steadiness the cons being laser is going to be visible to the enemies only when you're ADSing so again if you're just careful about where and when you ADS you'll be fine with that go ahead and select that now for the optics we're going to go for a a block two here mainly and again this is kind of you, there's a couple different ways you can do this you can go with the standard holographic site here which would be fine i also recommend the four times flip site which is one of my favorite optics right now just because you have the four times flip as well as a standard holographic right there if you are in close to medium range you can utilize that there's also the leopold hammer site here which is the integral hybrid and this allows you to again to toggle between a 3.25 as well as the red dot site there on top and then there's also another optic here that I'll be using is going to be the Candid Hybrid. So this is our LCAN optic with the 45 degree Candid red dot sight here on the side of the rifle. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the stats. So the Candid Hybrid, you're going to get the Reflex Scout Toggle. So again, you have that 3.25 scope as well as the 45 degree mounted Candid red dot sight. So you're going to have the zoom level as well as the red dot toggle. The con here being the ADS speed on the weapon. So We'll go ahead and select that. Now again, we're gonna use, leave our base stock because we have that tan MOE stock there, which is what I want for this particular build. So we'll go ahead and leave that. We'll skip out on the perk as well as the rear grip and the ammunition because we have all those parts are gonna be tan. Now the underbarrel, I'm gonna go ahead and select the Ranger foregrip. This is gonna assist with the recoil control as well as the aiming stability since the M4 especially really only has vertical recoil for the most part. This will really help out with that. The cons being aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. And this is our final design that we'll be covering in today's video. So you see here we have the MOE stock, the, the tan MOE stock, the tan pistol grip, the tan Magpul magazine with the window there. So we can see our bullets on the left and I believe also the right hand side there. We have our Knights Armament quad rail. We have our tech laser and our tactical suppressor, and then we have the LCAN with the 45 degree cannon mounted red dot sight on the rifle. So this is our assault mod block two. Now you can see here, one thing on the weapon, you can see that we have the 458 SOCOM labeled on the upper receiver on the left hand side there, Syngard Arms 458 SOCOM, because the blueprint that we're using here is a 458. So again, it looks cosmetically similar to the upper receiver we see on the XRK and some of the other ones. 
but this one says 458 on it, which that's okay. We can go ahead and deal with that. Not a big deal. Now, if I back out and go to our Assault Mod 2, so for this one, I'm using the Task Force Blueprint, which again, I covered, uh, I'll link the video down below. This is part of the UDT bundle with Modern Warfare 2. It's going to be all of the same attachments minus the barrel we're going just with the standard barrel that comes with the m4 and now we have the salt mod stock for the base m4 we have that tan lower receiver and then we have the knight's armament uh wrist rail right there with the rail cover on the left hand side i'm not a big fan of this just because the tan doesn't quite match up to all the parts but again this is definitely acceptable and you have a fifth attachment slot to utilize here you can throw Something like a forge tack on, which will give you that old school carbine, the M4 carbine look, which is fine. Or you can go ahead and stay with the standard salt mod stock. You can throw a grip on there, whatever you want to do. Now, another one I have is just using the base M4. So this is the standard M4 in game. All the same attachments here as we used in our first build. Just we're using the base M4. So we have the standard TAM salt mod stock, the TAM pistol grip, the windowed PMAG. And then we have all the same attachments. We're using that Alcan or the Canon Hybrid there with the 45 toggle. And this is also a very nice build here. The only difference being that you have a salt mod stock versus the MOE stock that we have in the build that we're going to be using here. So this is the final design. This is our salt mod block two. Let's go ahead now, jump in game, and we'll see how the recoil handles this weapon, then see how it handles in game against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our assault mod block two for the M4, let's go ahead and check out the recoil pad on the weapon. So I'm going to stand about medium range here, and I'm just going to let this rip with the Elcan, the 3.25 zoom, and we'll just check out the recoil pattern. So you can see there, straight vertical and then a slight deviation to the right, so let's try and control it now. So you can see there, much tighter spread, and then if I utilize our toggle sight here, Let's check out the recoil. So the just knock on the recoil, we see straight here, vertical, about 12 shots of vertical, then it starts deviating to the right a little bit. Then we have controlling very tight, and then just with the red dot again, also very tight, but this is gonna be for the close range versus the medium to long range. We'll utilize the Canon or the Cronin or the L can in real life. So there you have our recoil patterns for the M4. Again, we are utilizing our attack laser on this weapon. You can toggle right here. So you can see controlling. No ammo. So that is our M4 Assault Mod Block 2. Let's go ahead now and jump in game to see how it handles in game here against bots. Okay, now that we're in game, let's go ahead and see how our M4 Assault Mod handles here against bots. So I've actually been using this a lot in game for Battle Royale as well as multiplayer lately. And this is one of my favorite weapons. I really like the versatility of it overall. And it does handle really well in Battle Royale also. I don't quite like it over the uh, M13, but it's still a really good option. I think it's just about almost on par depending on the attachments. But we are utilizing a lighter... Or a shorter barrel here and does some different attachments. The rate of fire and the accuracy might be a little bit different on this as well as versus the M13. But overall, a really great weapon. Again, this is the Salt Mod of the Special Operations Peculiar mod mod Modification, excuse me, Modification System. So basically, it's just an accessory kit for the M4 to bring it more up to standard with Special Operations need to allow for more customization. So we can see, like, you'll have different rail options, different, different sight options. Suppressor options, different handguards, uh, whether it's Knights nice Armament, different type of uh, RIS quad rails, things like that. So basically just an accessory kit for the M4 to allow more. There we go. Customization to the weapon. So you can see here. Very good weapon because I really like these uh, different toggle toggle sights like the this Canon Hybrid here that we have. The only difference I use, this is my kit that I'm using mainly in Warzone right now, the only difference being 
I'm using the Integral Hybrid site, also which is known in real life as the Leopold Hammer site. So that's just that 3.25 with the the top mounted red dot on it instead of this one which has a candid mounted. So it's very similar, but for some reason I like that one for swapping in and out of sights and getting eyes on target faster. But this is also just a very good sight. There's really nothing wrong with this. It handles really well in multiplayer and warzone. The M4, of course, is still the meta weapon in multiplayer for sure. So you really can't go wrong with this one. Enemy at the courtyard. You can see the versatility there, just being able to swap from the 3.25 to the red dot there also. Let's see here. So let me know what you guys think of this. What, let me know what your assault mod build is in game. I'm sure there's a couple different variations. I'm really waiting, like I said, for the Frankenstein type uh, weapon customization to swap in and out parts from different blueprints to make try and make a different one but i think that'll be a really nice different uh way to build these but overall there's two different versions of the the salt mod there's a salt mod block one and the block two both just coming including different accessory kits i believe the second generation of the block twos uh had the l can which we're utilizing here on our on our m4 as well as some different sites as well so that's really the only reason i'm calling it a block two is because we're utilizing the Elcan site instead of a standard holographic. Got a personal radar drone ready for escort. Ah, oh, darn. So the M4 in real life has been in service since 1994 through present. Obviously, still one of the main. Oh my God, one of the main weapons, if not the for the. United States military is at M4 M16 series. Again, it came into service in 1994, replacing the Car 15, which is the was a Colt model carbine. So this replaced that. The M4. There we go. And it's been used ever since 1994 by the military. Still, will it be replaced? I know there's a 6.8 millimeter program going on right now to replace it, but. The United States military has not really wanted to abandon the M4, M16 platform yet, and I don't. It seems like they end up might just keep it there forever. We'll have to wait and see what happens with this. But again, the salt mods are available for Scars, HK416s, as well as the M4, which we see here. Oh boy, there we go. And I believe that's M4 Scars being the Mark 16 and Mark 17 for the Scars, as well as the HK416. So this is really what I love, especially in Warzone, being able to toggle back between longer range, being the 3.25s, and well as the Red Dot. Definitely helps out a lot if you're going from longer range engagements to inside a tight building and need to clear staircases, for example, you're gonna want a close quarters optic via that red dot so there we go you can see this thing is just a complete animal the m4 again still the meta weapon in the game right now now the caliber for the m4 is the 5.6 by 45 nato hey let's call in this airstrike there we go and the caliber is 5.56. Rate of fire in the M4 is 700 to 950 rounds per minute. There we go. It's a gas operated rotating bolt. It's the base developed by the, the Stoner rifle, if anybody remembers that from Vietnam. Now, I'll also go ahead and link the all M4 builds down below. We did that in the very end of season one initially. We covered all the M4 builds you could build at that particular time, and obviously, there's been a lot more added since, so I will be updating that video at some point for sure oh my god almost out of ammo here oh finally got brought down so the effective range for the m4 is going to be 500 meters or 550 yards 
And then we have the standard, the base is the 30 round standard detachable Stenag mag, which here we have that windowed P mag from Magpul. There's also the 50 and the 60 round options in real life, and I believe you can also get crazy. I'm sure there's some 100 rounders out there like we see in a skip from Tarkov. There is a 100 round Stenag mag for the weapon, as well as some drum bags. So in game, as well as real life, the M4 is one of the most versatile weapons around for sure. Again, and we have the salt mods, block one, block two. There's the Mark 18s, which essentially is just a different variant of the salt mod. But again, like I said, there's a couple different ways you can make this. There's a build we have here with that MOE stock with the Polytope blueprint, as well as some other blueprints available. Just the standard M4 will give you that salt mod stock. So I'm waiting for us to have that feature. It should be introduced here in a couple weeks to mix and match different blueprint pieces. And then I'm going to make some... I'm looking forward to making some crazy things with that. So I really hope that should be fun. Just taking every blueprint piece from an M4 and being able to put it together. We'll have to see how that works out. But let me know what you think of the salt mod. Let me know down below what attachment you use on yours. Until next time, Buckner Gaming, out.